1937, I went to France and studied uh, on a fellowship at the Academy Julia. And when I got back to States, I went to 57th Street, and he said, you're an excellent artist. Impressionism is excellent, but you're black, so we can't show your work. We can't exhibit your work. There was one gallery in Boston that gave me a first show. I couldn't really get into the major shows because of my color. So I shipped my work, put them in crates, sent them to the National Academy of Design, the Philadelphia Academy, and to major galleries, Chicago and all. Invariably they were hung, but they never knew that Lois Jones was black. And uh, I felt to do that for a number of years until I made my niche. And then I let them know that who I was, really. They didn't know for many years. Right. And it, it was a shock. I mean, they just didn't think that a black artist, you know, could, could do that, that type of work. And if you could, I mean, they weren't going to give you a chance anyway. So that uh, it was, hasn't been easy. Naturally, I was hurt and... Uh, I never let it affect my work. It, it would have uh, it'd been unfortunate if, if I had let it enter into what I was doing. And, uh, and so it was that I was determined to continue. And finally, as I am today, I mean, I, finally I'm represented in the Metropolitan Museum, National Collection of American Art, in Washington, D.C., and in the Phillips Collection in Washington, the Brooklyn Museum. I mean, I'm hanging. I'm there. But it hasn't been easy. By no means. I've had to have, keep a whole lot of my feelings within. Go to Martha's Vineyard, where, frankly, where people are, it seems to me, friend, more friendly. Sometimes... You'll be walking along the, the street in Vineyard Haven and somebody will say, good morning, nice day, isn't it? You don't even know them. I mean, but there's a certain warmth that I feel here that I didn't feel in those early days in Boston and, and in New York.